As a new employee with the North Carolina Department of Transportation, you are joining a team of more than 14,000 workers dedicated to improving our state's transportation infrastructure. We strive to provide the best possible service to the traveling public. They're our customers, and we should treat them with respect. By being courteous and professional, we can earn their trust and show them we care. At NCDOT, you will deal with two different types of customers, internal customers and external customers. Internal customers are your fellow employees. External customers include the public, local, state, and federal government agencies, private industries and businesses, contractors and consultants, professional organizations, and the media. You'll interact with them in many different ways, and each time you do, your behavior is important. Good customer service skills include listening carefully as customers express their comments or concerns. Do not interrupt. Wait until the customers are finished talking to ask questions to make sure you understand their situation. Display empathy for the customer's circumstances. Let them vent, but don't take what they say personally. When you respond, control the tone and volume of your voice. Remain calm and speak with gentle authority. You should put those skills to use when dealing with customers in person and on the yes, telephone. The service office, how can I help you? When you answer a phone call, identify your agency or unit, give your name, and offer to help. Show interest and concern, and then ask the appropriate questions to find out what the callers need. Never place callers on hold immediately. Ask for permission first and wait for their okay. When you get back to them, thank them for their patience. If you need to place callers on hold for an extended time period, give them the option of having you call them back. Do not needlessly transfer someone. If you're not the person they need to talk with, briefly explain why you can't assist them. Then get the caller's approval to transfer them and give them the name and the number of the person you're sending them to. You should also keep good customer service in mind when dealing with voicemail. Your voicemail greeting should sound friendly and professional. It should include your name, position, a brief explanation that you're unavailable, and a way to transfer to an operator for immediate assistance. Also, update your greeting to reflect your schedule. It's an easy way to let callers know you're on vacation or are out of the office at a day-long meeting. Be sure to check your voicemail frequently and return calls promptly. Email is another effective way to correspond with customers. It's fast and easy, but don't let the convenience of email keep you from sending professional messages. Never put anything in an email that could be viewed as offensive or inappropriate. Remember, any information contained in your email is considered public information. Make sure your messages are clear and informative. Always send responses in a timely manner, but before you do, proofread them for spelling and grammar errors. Now, the same rules apply to written communication. Letters and memos should be worded professionally and written in accordance with NCDOT guidelines. Include your return address, telephone number, and email address on a correspondence you send. At NCDOT, you will have many high-tech tools at your disposal. Use the NCDOT website and the portal to enhance your knowledge of the organization and help customers find the information they seek more efficiently. Complaint tracking and resolution systems, if available, are great resources to ensure timely customer responses. Use them to help provide the best service possible. On occasion, you may come in contact with the media. How you respond depends on the situation. It's the practice of the department, through the communications office, to work openly with the media to promote the initiatives of the department as well as educate the public about the important transportation issues and policies. If a member of the media approaches you about a routine matter, go ahead and provide the information requested. Routine matters include construction projects, public hearings, or traffic studies, areas about which you have expertise. If a reporter asks you about a matter that is outside your area of expertise, refer him or her to the communications office. A communications officer will help the reporter gather the information needed. Providing excellent customer service is one of the department's core values. As an NCDOT employee, you play a vital role in helping us respond efficiently and effectively to our customers' needs. Remember, you're often the first person our customers see or hear, so to them, you are the Department of Transportation. Deal with them in a courteous, professional manner. By treating them with respect, you will show them they're important and their concerns matter.